this dude is seriously palmated. You can see his antlers sticking up on the horizon there. On today's episode, we're gonna go north, about as far north as you can get in the Canadian Arctic. We're gonna go hunt Quebec Labrador caribou with our good friend, Mike Cantrell. You know, about five years ago, these caribou suffered a severe die off and they cut the hunting back to one bull, but they're starting to rebound. Let's go catch up with myself and Brandon Mason as we head north after big trophy caribou bulls. The Arctic bush is a very surreal place from the air. Endless miles of vast wilderness with almost no human interruption patiently await our arrival. All right, here we are, first day of big caribou hunt in Canada, 2014. And uh, me and Cantrell and Perry are heading out on the water, heading across the water to get some other country and fight the bugs, as you can probably see. A little bad. Leaving camp, and away we go. are absolutely horrible. We've got almost 100% DEET on. They're still buzzing in our ears and everything. Head nets are definitely gonna have to come out. We're up on this big rock, glassing for caribou. What do you think? <laughs> bug stew for supper? <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, We're all bug suiting up here. weather has finally cooled down somewhat, thinning out the bugs that were such a problem during the first two days of the hunt. There's finally a few good bulls moving around in our hunt area. I think it's a lot nicer than it has been. I think you guys are full of <laughs> There's no bugs out here. <laughs> well, there isn't today. We had enough yesterday and the day before to last a lifetime. Now all we need to do is get a caribou. We go across, swim across the lake and cut them off. 50 50 chance. The traveling bulls finally ended up working their way into a high point and bedding down for the day, seemingly in a stockable position. Now the bulls just went over the hill and they're over there right on the other side of that lake. So if we can just get up to that rock, I think we'll be able to see them get a shot. Okay.
bedded bulls get a whiff of danger before Brandon and Mike can get to their destination to rest the rifle on the big glacial boulder. Thanks to Brandon's predator hunting skills, he's able to make a quick, perfectly placed snapshot on the bull right before he turns to leave the horizon. He's down. <laughs> what a bull. Oh man, I can't wait to get up and see how heavy he is. He is heavy all the way around. <laughs> right on. Thanks, buddy. Man, look at that guy. Look at how heavy he is. Look at those double shovels, nice bezes. His tops are huge. And this guy was the big brother of the bunch for sure. He has got mass to spare. He's got a little bit of a smaller frame, but he's got everything else. What a beautiful bull. He's got double shovels, nice bezes, huge tops and back scratchers and everything. I just cannot get over how massive he is right here. It took us two days of air travel just to get here and it's been worth every single step of the adventure. Something I've been dreaming about for over 20 years and I hope I can do it again soon one of these days. And remember, fair chase is the only way to hunt and take trophy big game. We'll see you next week right here on Eastman's Hunting TV.